Hello, my SEOs. My name is Kiko, and today I want to talk to you about your domain rating. What is it? How do you find it? And is it an actual authority? If so, do they have any badges and sweet uniforms? I'm going to answer those questions and more here today on The Sauce, brought to you by PosiRank.com. Okay, so domain rating is also known as your website authority and is not to be confused with your domain authority. They are two metrics created by two separate companies that can help you understand your overall website performance amongst your competitors. I know it sounds confusing, but I promise both will make sense and are important places in your SEO strategy. But for this video, we are going to concentrate on domain rating. So subscribe, turn on notifications for the next videos about domain authority. Okay, so website authority or domain rating is a metric developed by Ahrefs. They are a software company that develops online SEO tools and free educational material for marketing professionals. And if you haven't used them, they have a bunch of helpful tools for you to use like analyzing website link profiles, keyword ranking, and SEO health. You can also use Ahrefs to conduct keyword research for Google, YouTube, and Amazon. So what is domain rating? Way back in the day, you used to be able to know your pages rank on search engine. While that still exists and is used by the search engine developers, we as the users can't see them. Again, Google controls everything. So Ahrefs came up with a way to measure the relative strength of a site's backlink profile compared to every other site in their index to get an educated guess on what page rank might be. And honestly, it's worked out well as a unit of measurement, so well that a competitor is making a video about them. And like most others who are trying to measure the DR of sites, they too run a logarithmic scale from zero to 100. This means going from a DR of 79 to 80 is harder than a DR going from nine to 10. Think of it like professional sports. You can't just start in the major leagues. To get there, you have to spend years moving up through the other leagues like club, middle school, high school, then college. And we can all play the game, but getting to the top is going to depend on how much time and effort you put in. And going from college to professional is a lot harder than club to middle school. Unless, of course, you're Johnny Manziel, then everything's bought and paid for by mommy and daddy. The logarithmic scale also means that DR20 sites are more than twice as authoritative as a DR10 site. If you go to Ahrefs and use their Site Explorer tool, you can find yours and other sites' DR. This is important to know when building backlinks and trying to increase your own DR. And that is because not using it and trying to increase your DR would be like grocery shopping for a specific dinner recipe without a list of ingredients. You may get lucky, but you're just going to end up spending more time and money than you should have, and you definitely are going to be sleeping on the couch. I mean, the casserole was still tasty and amazing. I'm just saying. That's why it's so important to know how to judge the potential of other sites' DRs, as well as always, always, always buy the most comfiest couch. Hey SEOs, we know there's more to this sauce than we can put in this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those next videos where I explain how to increase your DR score and judge the potential of those sites you are linking to as we go more into depth on how the sauce is made. Till next time, my name is Kiko. Love you SEOs.